Hey, what's up everyone? PCJ here. It's been a little while since I've had a video to share with y'all. And I, I have something that I've had in my possession uh, for a little bit of time now and never have had a chance to get around to doing a video on it. And usually, of course, you know, as soon as we get like Funko Pop Hauls or miniature uh, mi or Mr. Minis, uh, of course, we have Mr. Mini Monday every Monday. But uh, whenever I find things in stores, I like to get home and, you know, share them with you as soon as possible. Uh, this is something, uh, these are actually two items that I picked up. And I picked one up for myself, one for my wife. And, uh, Really, it was like something I was kind of confused on because we have Funko Pops, we've got Funko Minis, uh, they've had Funko, what, plushes and action figures and all types of other Funko merchandise. And this is something they came out with, what, a year maybe ago? It's been maybe a little over a year. Uh, it's the Funko Cereal. Yes, we're doing cereal now. And I've got a couple of boxes here. We've got the Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Tasty Treat, fun to eat and this was a Hot Topic exclusive. I picked this one up at a Hot Topic store and the obviously the Funko cereal is all black to go with you know the Mistress of the Dark and it comes with a little Funko Pop miniature but it's actually a Pocket Pop so if you remember Pocket Pops are not your standard Mystery Minis they're not you know they're not pocket they're not regular Pops they're like basically what the keychains are the keychains are the Pocket Pops and I thought that was a little misleading at first because when they first announced these cereals and they were going to have the little uh, miniature pops inside, I thought they were going to actually be a pop or a mystery mini, but it's going to be a pocket pop. But I guess, you know, that's the only thing they could fit supposedly. I think they could have made the boxes just a tad bigger and put a full on pop. I think that would have been well, you know, way worth it uh, because these are like $10. Yeah, $10 for a box of cereal. Uh, actually, this was $10.90 at uh, Hot Topic. I've seen other cereals at other stores in their collector, you know, sections uh, going for like eight to nine dollars, whatever. So really about 10 bucks you're paying for a box of cereal, but you get the Pocket Pop and Pocket Pops are usually around six bucks. So, you know, what is it? A, a box of name brand cereal usually is around the four dollar range. So it's the same price if you just went out and bought a box of cereal and bought a Pocket Pop of, you know, your liking. Uh, but I have not tried these yet, and here's the thing. I bought this uh, several months ago. I bought this a long time ago when they first came out with the Elvira one. I'm a huge fan of Elvira, of course. That's why I, I, I got it. At first, I was like, I keep all my, po my uh, Pocket Pops, my Funko Pops. So I keep all those in, in the boxes, so will I ever open this or anything? But I want to get the Pocket Pop out of here, so I have to open the box to do so. Uh, by the way, if you are a collector of... Funko stuff and you keep things in the box and whatnot, they actually have pop protectors for these. Is that insane or what? I was really surprised by that because uh, we have pop protectors on some of the pops up here and then they have like the real hard casing ones and you know the real serious collectors have those and whatnot. But I couldn't believe they actually have pop uh, or Funko cereal box protectors. So you could literally keep these completely sealed. I am going to keep the box. I'm going to just open this up carefully because I do want to keep the box. I like the artwork. And I grew up with all kinds of fun cereals. And that's what it reminds me of, of course, is the fun cereals of the 80s of like we had Pac Man, Ghostbusters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Smurfs. I mean, there were. Go on to Google and check out, you know, throwback cereals there's some uh cereals nowadays I've, I've gone through the cereal aisle to look around and there's some cereals nowadays that are a little similar to what it was back then but it's nothing like it was because every cereal back then regardless of how much it was aimed at kids or not it would have a toy inside or it'd have something uh of something to mail in it would have those mail-in rebate things on the back it would have this of course you would have little games on the box so that when you're eating cereal in the morning you have a little something to read you have a little you know maze to play with you had word searches or you know uh, riddles and such, things like that. It was almost like a, a Saturday morning comic on, or Sunday morning comics on your cereal box. And that was really, you know, the fun part about, you know, cereal. Uh, and then on top of that, whenever you go to pour your cereal out, you have a toy. Yeah, that would, that'd be awesome. Uh, well, I've got two here. I've got the Elvira Mistress of the Dark. This one was for me, of course. And then this one I picked up for my wife because she is a huge fan of Elf. So I got her the Buddy the Elf uh, tasty treat. It says the same thing there. Now this one was a Target exclusive and it includes a little Buddy the Elf pocket pop. Okay, it's got the little uh, bottle of syrup there. And these are like uh, like a cherry apple red color looks like it. Something like that. 
Now, here's the thing I have to say, first of all, is neither one of them has any kind of indication of what these are supposed to taste like. There's no flavor uh, written on here anywhere, so I'm not sure if these are supposed to taste like anything at all. I have heard from uh, talking to people that work at different stores that they bought one of these and tried it, and they said it had a hint of this or that. But how truthful that is, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we're going to be brave and try this out. Now, here's the reason uh, I'm just now... Uh, doing this video is I, as many of you know, of course, you know, uh, my wife and I are expecting, so I've been trying to condense a lot of my collection down. Uh, I'm not really getting rid of anything. I'm trying to, well, I've gotten rid of some things, but I'm not trying to get rid of too much. I'm just more or less trying to condense. And as I was doing that, I came across both of these because I had these just sitting in a bag in the closet. I had totally forgotten about them and just put them up in the closet to get them out of the way. I didn't want the boxes to get damaged. And I noticed when I took them out of the bag, uh, check out the date. This is expiring in June, and so I believe is this one. Yeah, this is June 7th. So if I want to try and eat these at all, I've got to you know do it now because we're only a couple months away from June, and at least then I can sample it. Whether it tastes good or not, at least I won't hopefully get violently ill because these are you know expired. <laughs> uh, but one thing I want to point out also before we uh, get to opening these, uh, this is a box of cereal, right? And I've been moving this box around. But do you hear any cereal moving around? No, you don't, do you? You know why? Because it is rock hard inside here. Look at this. Or listen to this. That's just a giant brick you can hear rolling around in there. Uh, yeah, I don't know why that happened. It's not like this is like a sugary coated cereal where it sticks together. I, maybe it is. I don't know. But this one, same thing. It's just another big brick again. Do you get it? I don't get it. Yeah, so, yeah. We're going to be brave and uh, try these out. So uh, I have a little bowl and spoon here, and uh, we're going to see uh, what, uh, what these are like. So let's go ahead and open this up here. And I'm kind of curious how they have the uh, toy. Oh. oh, look at that. You pull it out of the bottom. The toy is right here at the bottom. It's you don't even have to open the cereal. And there's the to the the pocket pop. That's <laughs> you're gonna, I get it. You're gonna have people that would have bought this. They would get all mad and whatnot that the toy is inside the cereal and there's cereal pieces all in it. But that was the fun part of cereal back in the day was opening a bag of cereal and dumping it out. Okay, now why is this? Look at this. This is what I was talking about. It's just a giant brick right now. I don't even know if I can eat the... Okay, there we go. We can break it up a little bit. Okay. Okay, we're breaking it up. <laughs> wow. I have to... Next time I go to stores, I'm just going to start shaking all the Funko cereals I see and see if they've become bricks from just sitting on the shelf for all this period of times. <laughs> okay, see, that's what a bag of cereal should look and sound like. Not a giant brick. <laughs> All right. So we have Elvira out of the box. We got the cereal out of the box here. Let's set that back there. And then... All right. Let me see how this stuff smells. It smells like something, but I don't know what it is. Uh... Oh, wow, it is, like, sticky. It's, like, very sticky. Okay, here's what the cereal looks like. I mean, it just looks like, you know, a standard oat cereal circle, like, you know, Cheerios or whatever. Uh, I don't taste anything. <laughs> I, I, like, I really don't taste anything, like... Yeah, <laughs> it's called a multi-grain cereal. That's what it says in the box. But I don't, It's it has a scent, but I cannot place it. If you've had this, let me know what you think it tastes like. But we're going to have just a little tiny serving here. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit. All right, I got a little bit of milk right here. So let's... Let's stir that up. Let's see. Does it turn the milk dark? Like, one of my favorite cereals that came out in the last 10 years 
is the Halloween Crunch by Captain Crunch, and it came out with the Halloween decoration on the box and whatnot. I kept I kept one of those boxes when they first came out, and it would turn your cereal green. It had a little speckle or food coloring stuff on the cereal, the orange cereal, and then when you poured milk in it and stirred it up, if you let it set for just a little bit, it'll turn your cereal green. Really cool. Nice little element. Okay, uh, we're stirring. Let me stir this up a little more. Okay, so, I mean, here's what it looks like with the milk in it. But as you can see, it doesn't really, you know, look like it's changing the color. All right, here's the test taste for Elvira with, with milk. There's no, there's like no flavor in here. I don't know what it is. Okay, I went ahead and fast forwarded and uh, went ahead and ate that little bit you saw. I taste nothing except the milk. <laughs> there's no flavor on this cereal at all. So uh, maybe that was the point. Maybe they couldn't get the rights to it. Maybe they were too worried about people not buying it because it had a certain flavor that they wouldn't like. So they just said, let's just give it no flavor at all. Okay, uh, but here is our Elvira Mistress of the Dark Pocket Pop. And I have a I have the uh, Pocket Pop keychain, which I had to look for it real quick, but it might be the same exact figure. It just doesn't have the keychain uh, attached to her. Um, I know there was like a, a red dress Funko Pop, and then they made a keychain of that as well. Uh, but I think this was the original keychain that, that I've got, which is the black dress one. Yeah. Okay, well, that is the Elvira one. And she's too... Yeah. Elvira's too top heavy uh, in, in more ways than one <laughs> but she won't stand up there I gotta lean her against the box all right let's go ahead and check out the buddy the elf cereal let's see if we get any other results from this uh share with me please if you have purchased any of these uh Funko cereals and what flavors if any have they had now the big reason to buy these obviously is to get the little uh pocket keychain characters or the pocket pop character figures and then on top of that, the other thing for me is the artwork looks awesome. Now, they've had some other ones that I liked. Like, they've had uh, Golden Girl cereal. I think it came with a Rose uh, Pocket Pop. And then they've had a couple of different Rick and Morty ones. I know, they, I know I saw Snowball, the dog. I think that one has a cereal. And somebody else. Maybe Rick does. I can't remember. But uh, they've had a couple of those. And uh, there's other cereal, of course. So I just can't think of all of them right now. All right. Here is Buddy the Elf. Also, not inside the bag. Uh, as you can see, once again, it is a giant brick. <laughs> so here is Buddy the Elf. We'll go and take a look at him first, and then we'll get to the tasting. So here is Buddy. So at least I can give my wife the uh, figure. I don't think she's going to be any anxious at all to taste the cereal. So I'll be doing that as well. But let's break this up as well. Just like... <laughs> I mean, how many times do you have to do that with your box of cereal? Only with the fun cool ones. <laughs> and look, I'm not even breaking the cereal up. I'm not, I'm not breaking the pieces. I'm just getting it to loosen up. So I'll be able to pour it out. Alright. I'm just going to use the same bowl, so there might be a little cross-contamination here. But we're going to use the same bowl as we did for the Elvira one. And just gonna put a little bit in here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Well, it's again. This is like super uh, sticky. It's not like there's like stuff coming off it, but it's just got a stickiness to it. That's why it's all stuck together. Let me try it real quick without milk. I'm smelling it real quick. Also, by the way, it kind of smells just like a like a donut, like a very lightly sweetened donut that's kind of what this the smell feel and i don't want to say glazed or anything it just smells like a donut i guess kind of like you walk into a donut shop and you just smell all the flour and sugar that's kind of what it smells like but really this is not sweet at all to me no this is i mean it tastes tastes bland just like the other one uh we pour a little milk in here all right and uh let's get this to still gotta break a few pieces down So again, I think if they had at least put a flavor on here, I don't think it would have hurt anything. People still would have bought this. Collectors will buy anything, of course, nowadays, because everyone thinks everything's going to be worth something. Uh, 
Yeah, and I think as well, if they're going to do more of this, add some, you know, taste element to it. Uh, it could just be something a little sweeter or something with, you know, more of a vanilla flavor that most people like or whatever, something like that. It doesn't have to be particular like, okay, this is only apple flavored or this one is chocolate flavored or whatever. It could just be a little, you know, more common flavor. I don't know. All right, let's give this a try. Let's see if we get any flavor out of this one. Okay, so I don't know if my brain is just looking at this and it's a red cereal, so I'm thinking fruity or apple or uh, apple jacks or whatever I'm thinking, but it's like I want this to taste like something, but it's not. There is no flavor to this. All right, well, I went ahead and finished off the little bit of elf cereal. No flavor in there at all. There was nothing, no flavor. So, yeah, it's just like you're just eating oats, but there's not even a flavor in an oat. If you, if, I, I don't know, I hardly eat oats. I don't know if they have an actual flavor on their own. But here right here is, of course, the main reason to get these. You get the cool artwork on the boxes, and you get the Pocket Pop minis of Elvira and Elf. And like I said, there's other ones out there. So if you want certain figures, you got to get it through there. But it is kind of like you go to your big box stores, and nowadays you can buy DVD sets and TV show sets, and they're coming with these same figures uh, I've seen like Game of Thrones come with a couple of different mini figures. Uh, Elf as well. I think you can get the exact same figure if you bought Elf on DVD. They've got a box set now where it's just the DVD or the Blu-ray and you get the figure. Or if you buy, uh, oh, Christmas Story. That's right, Christmas Story. It's got the little Ralphie. I don't know if he's in the bunny suit or whatever, but same thing. You got a little Ralphie mini figure, but it's again, pocket size. These are all pocket pops, not Mr. Mini, not pop size. And I'm not a big fan of that because it's not like the cost is that big a deal between a pocket pop and a mystery mini or a pop in general and i think you're better off just getting a pop with these you know bundles they're doing so i think that's something they need to consider doing but of course they're just going to jack the price up probably and be like oh instead of paying twenty dollars for this dvd and getting this mystery mini 29.99 and you get the pop instead it's like well i just paid 10 bucks more i could have just gone and bought the pop anyways what the you know, so anyways we, we finally got to try out these cereals and uh, at least I'm, I'm, my curiosity is uh, has been demolished because now I wonder if these tasted like anything or if there's any other appeal to getting them other than just the figures or the artwork. And no, there is no other appeal. <laughs> there's no appeal at all. I mean, make this taste like maple syrup, okay? It's got him with a big bottle of syrup right there. Make it taste like maple or maple syrup, whatever. With the Elvira one, they're black, so they're dark. You know, you could make it a chocolate flavor, something like that. Uh, that would have been fine. Uh, who knows? Something like that. But, yeah, I, again, they're not a cereal company. They're a toy company. So they're just going to have something thrown in there just to you know do the gimmick. But, you know, I do appreciate this because this brings me back to my childhood where you go to the table in the morning, pour yourself a bowl of cereal, and while you're watching your cartoons in the background, you're eating your cereal, and you get to play games or you're reading, you know, fun quizzes and jokes and whatnot on the cereal. So I like it. I'm still a fan, and it's still a cool concept. And I can see how people do get into this. So I still like it. So it's still a fun, fun idea. All right, everyone. Thanks as always for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got to, you know, see some stuff here you uh, had been curious about. And now you know if you were tempted to get the cereal uh, because you thought it was going to taste good or have any other elements to it besides what you see here, now you know. Uh, but thanks as always for joining me. I hope I'll see you all again on my next video. And until then, make sure you follow me on social media. All my links are below. Please like the video. I appreciate that. And share it out there with your friends as well. And if you haven't done so yet as well, please always hit that subscribe button so you can check out all the other cool content we got going on. All right, guys and gals, till next time, this is your friend and host, the PCJ Pop Culture Junkie. And I'm signing out.